A website like this wasn't just designed randomly, it was carefully planned. So in this video, I will show you exactly how I use a site planner to plan and organize my website as a web agency owner in 2025. You see, the problem is that most people start a website the wrong way and it costs them so much time and frustration. But there is a smarter way to do this. So let's dive in so you can learn how to nail this process. And remember to stay until the end because later I will show you a live example of how I turn a simple idea into a complete website. All right, I always start with this because the first step is creating a clear structure, also called a sitemap. And back in the day, I used to make these in a Word document, but this is just way easier. And take a look at this. The sitemap is editable, so you can, for example, drag and drop each section around like this. So this helps you to see all the pages of your website before you even begin designing. And trust me, skipping this step is one of the biggest mistakes people make. So let me show you exactly how I make a sitemap like this. Because to make this process super easy, I use something called a site planner. And what's really awesome about this is that it automatically makes a wireframe once I have the sitemap ready. So let's take a look here. It now generates the entire wireframe. And there is more. I haven't showed you the coolest part yet. But before I show you more, I just feel like I need to be fully transparent and tell you that this video is made in collaboration with Elementor. But I wouldn't be showing you this if I didn't actually think it was useful. All right, so let me walk you through this tool. And by the way, it's free right now, but it could become something you pay for in the future. They always do that to the good stuff, right? So I'll just leave a link in the description so you can check this out yourself. If I zoom down here at the home page, you can see we have the option to regenerate section on all of these sections. So if you're not satisfied with the hero section, for example, I can click on regenerate section and it will create a new example. But there is actually a step before all of this and that's something I call the breathe. So the process is actually breathe, sitemap, wireframe, and then real website. Okay, so let me break it down. I go inside the brief here and this is an AI chat. And as you can see here in the beginning, I just typed in that I wanted a website for a lawyer in New York. And then the AI chat asked me all the right questions. For example, what should, what name should it be and what type of service do I offer? But let me show you a new example of how this works. Let's just say that I tell the AI chat uh, this prompt. So this is just, I want to create a website for an art gallery that sells wall art for homes. And then it asks, what is the primary goal of the website? Let's just say to attract uh, customers to visit the store. And what's really cool about this is that you don't have to find all the answers. You can just use the suggested answers down here all the time. So this is really cool. This is the sitemap. So it suggests some sites that could be relevant. Let me just choose this one. Okay, so once you describe the project, the AI is ready to generate the rest. So I'll just click up here, use this brief, and then it begins to create my sitemap. Okay, so let's just say that we are happy with the sitemap and the wireframe and we just want to build this website. What should we do then? Well, this AI site planner can actually also build your website from scratch. And you have two options. You can export a template and import it in a new website or you can make this site planner build your entire site from scratch. I'll just click create website and then start free trial. But just keep in mind that this generate an Elementor based website and you might not use Elementor for your WordPress website. However, you can still use this tool as a clear overview and work with the wireframe in another software if you want to. All right, done. So now it has created an entire WordPress website with this weird URL that you can always change later. But let's take a look at the end result for now. Okay, so you can see that it has added everything from the sitemap and the wireframe. And this is really important because it means that you're not designing from a blank canvas, which makes everything faster and ensures that the site is structured for better conversions. But remember that while AI can generate a solid starting point, you can't rely on it 100%. You still need to use your own judgment and creativity. The real secret is combining AI with your own expertise to create the ultimate design. 
So now it's just a matter of designing the page and I can click here on edit with Elementor. So if I want to create something similar to what you saw in the beginning, I can easily do that and using this as a starting point. So for example, I could change the background of this to this image. And then I could add an image like this. And this is the cool car image. And then change this copywriting to something like this maybe and make it really large and maybe move up the text like this and make it white and change the buttons to something like this and make the image a bit larger now we just take a look at the header so make it white for example like this so you can see everything and make this 100 height let's publish and see how it looks Okay, looking pretty good so far. So if you want to learn how to design a pro website and avoid the classic mistakes that can ruin your design, I highly recommend checking out my other video here.